హాయ్ హలో నమస్తే దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ కాసిగారి ప్రసాద్ ద లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ శాటిలైట్ కమ్యూనికేషన్స్ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ లెక్చర్ టాక్ ఆన్ ఫ్యూచర్ ట్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ శాటిలైట్ కమ్యూనికేషన్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వేరియస్ ఫ్యూచర్ ట్రెండ్స్ దట్ వీ క్యాన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది శాటిలైట్ కమ్యూనికేషన్స్ లెట్ అస్ సీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ కరెంట్ ట్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ శాటిలైట్ కమ్యూనికేషన్స్ శాటిలైట్స్ ఆర్ బిగ్ హెవియర్ and placed in geostationary orbit with multiple roles so multiple roles has been performed by geostationary orbit satellites which are of heavier bigger and at larger distances and very specifically they perform direct broadcasting television and radio satellite services and different what to say uplink and downlink sessions has been implemented here now these were the things that happened for current trends in satellite communications mobile services may be broadcast services rather than point to point and make mobile services a successful business this is all of just current trends now let us describe the future trends for satellite communications in the future trends of satellite communications there is there it requires a growth in new frequency bands and also the propagation through rain and clouds becomes a problem as rf frequency and it is increased so like three different types of bands like c band ku band and ka band which are operating at 6 by 4 10 by 12 and 20 by 30 gigahertz of ranges and the big feature for satellite communications is the size of the satellite should be small if small sized satellites are implemented then it finds easy for the launching vehicles to launch those satellites into the respective orbits so first and foremost thing the feature of the satellite communication depends on the size low cost phased array antennas for mobiles are needed mobile systems are limited by use of omnidirectional antennas and directional antennas allows the frequency they use second future trend of the satellite communication is small sats get bigger so nano satellites nowadays are playing vital role so the satellite size should be very small and nano satellites which can provide the services as bigger as the big satellites does then good services can be taken place so it has to make a proper design and planning and lot of development should be taken place for nano satellites small sized satellites at a different orbits for providing services there are limits to small satellites capabilities yes obviously but in terms of transmission power and capacity for supporting bandwidth the placement of small satellites in space that is constellation launched into leo is a big game changer that means if we take the small satellites and launch into the orbit that to on leo low earth orbits in a constellation that means a many number of such small satellites if they are placed at low earth orbit then that really makes a bigger change so instead of sending satellites into greater heights like geo orbits if we use the low earth orbit with the small nano satellites or to say small satellites for providing equal services then that is a great game changer in satellite communications low earth orbits lessens the latency and leo is defined by nasa as the first 100 to 200 miles of space above the planet the most significant limitation of geosynchronous satellite system is high latency which can be addressed the perception that satellite technology is incapable of providing low latency connectivity is now shifting as more responsive system are arriving low earth orbit lessens the latency iridium is the best known example the best known leo system currently in use provides voice communication services see this voice communication services is provided by leo low earth orbit satellites one such best example is iridium 
this iridium constellation consisting of nearly 66 satellites they provide pole to pole coverage from one pole to another pole a coverage can be provided if a constellation of uh, small LEO orbit satellites are placed LEO lessens latency greater number of satellites into LEO provides low latency broadband with uh, pervasive connectivity the next another feature trend of satellite communication is reusing of the rockets so if we use if we reuse the satellite rockets which is used to deploy the satellites into the respective orbit then the construction cost launching cost will decrease for that a lot of research lot of developments has to be taken place so that reusing of the rockets has to taken place so this might be one sort of example iridium is now in the process of rolling out its broadband iridium next to constellation by using spacex as a launch provider small payload means that launch vehicle can del deliver them in large quantities moreover satellites from more than one company can hitch a ride on a single launch so many satellites can be launched if we have reusable rockets once the rocket goes into the orbital place they launches the respective satellite and again return as a reusable element then if this happens n number of satellites nano satellites small satellites can be launched from different different companies into the respective orbits so that the price reduces and the impact of satellite communication increases in brazil hagis has implemented combined satellite plus terrestrial network to bring high speed connectivity to community centers and schools in remote villages across the amazon region this is one future trend of the satellite communication another future trend is using satellite in 5g lte the services that can provide for 5g technology can be implemented and improved by using the satellite communications one of the japanese multinational bank has used this 5g ecosystem receiving support for providing services like was in the coming days it is expected to implement satellites for higher generations in order to roll out 5g connectivity telecom operators are looking to break into the c band frequency range currently allocated for satellite communications another important feature trend of satellite is implementation of iot internet of things nowadays it is happening so satellites can play a key role as building blocks for internet of things there are a lot of iot devices in locations not easy to access from terrestrial networking at those times the best way and the best process is implementing of satellite for iot's so one such example is a smart city concept by using satellites internet of things has taken place and iot expands its applications so interconnecting of many things iot so a small sat with a limited bandwidth could be used to monitor moisture sensors in a remote agricultural fields so this is one of the photograph how the satellite is connecting different different elements thank you very much and we and ours is a kasigari prasad a learning educational enthusiastic inspiring and motivating channel i invite you to kindly subscribe to our channel comment on the particular section and share the information knowledgeable information to your students faculty fraternity and to your family members thank you very much jai hind jai bharat